They make coffee and espresso for about 17 cents per serving, but for this one-touch bean-to-cup machine, that's just the beginning. How about milk-based beverages like cappuccinos, flat whites, and latte macchiatos from fresh ground coffee and fresh milk with a single button press? Hey, coffee lovers, Mark here from Whole Latte Love. Today, an in-depth look at the Gaja Babila. It's Gaja's new top of the line in one-touch automatic coffee machines. In this video, I'll cover its capabilities, specifications, you'll get to see it in action, and we'll go over some features. And I'll tell you why the Babila is one of the best machine choices if you're one who is likely to switch between making regular larger cups of coffee, espresso, and milk-based espresso beverages. More on that in a minute. So if you're not familiar, bean to cup machines are all about making coffee and espresso from freshly ground whole beans. High-end machines like the Babila add in the ability to automatically froth milk for milk-based espresso beverages. And it gets that one-touch designation because it makes them at the touch of a button, start to finish, without moving your cup. To do that, the Babila uses an attachable milk carafe. Pull it from the fridge, pop it on the machine, push over the spout, and you're ready to make a cappuccino, flat white, latte, and more. Now, the thing I love, and you will too, is how the Babila's milk carafe self-cleans. When you're done making a milk-based drink, just push the spout back over, and it automatically runs steam through the milk circuit. Then you can put the craft back in the fridge and it's ready to go for next time. If you love those milk-based drinks, the Babila makes them easy with no pickup tubes or other parts that need cleaning after each use like you'll find on other machines. For making coffee and espresso, the Babila gives you five ways to control things from perfect flavor from whole bean coffee. And that makes it a perfect choice if you're sometimes going to be making espresso and other times wanting a larger regular coffee. It all starts with a high quality ceramic burr grinder. Beans are ground fresh for each cup and what I like here are the 15 grind size settings. It's a lot more range than most machines have and that's very important. You want a coarser grind for regular coffee to avoid over extraction and bitter flavors and a very fine setting for shorter and bolder espresso extractions. Now, most machines tend to focus in the espresso grind range, so when you go to make a larger regular coffee, you often end up with a bitter cup. With a larger size range of the Babila's grinder, that's not a problem. The second level of control is the strength setting. It's represented by beans in the display and controls the amount of coffee ground for each cup. On the Babila, you can choose from five strength levels to fine-tune the coffee dose. On many competing machines, you'll only get three strength settings. The third level of control is the taste setting. You can choose from delicate, balanced, and full body. What the taste setting is actually doing is adjusting the pre-infusion time. What pre-infusion time does is wets the ground coffee briefly prior to brewing. At delicate, there's no pre-infusion. At balance, there's about two seconds. And at full body, it's about four seconds. Now, controlling that pre-infusion really allows you to pull out more flavors and customize it to the type of coffee you are making. The fourth level of control is temperature. Here you choose from low, normal, and high. A tip with temperature, so you know if you like a really hot cup, go ahead and use that high setting. But beyond that, you can experiment with temperature in relationship to the roast level of the beans. The general guide there is to use lower temps for darker roasts and higher temps for lighter roast. But perhaps my favorite way to control your coffee is the flow knob near the spouts. It, does what its name suggests, turning the knob can increase or decrease the flow rate of water through the coffee as it's brewing. The Babila is one of only a few machines with this capability, and if you'll be switching between making espresso and regular coffee, that flow control makes a big difference. You want a slower flow for deep espresso extractions and a faster flow for larger cups of a regular coffee to avoid over extraction and those bitter flavors. The Babila has eight fully programmable drink presets. There are dedicated buttons on the front for espresso, espresso longo, coffee, cappuccino, and latte macchiato. Under the special drinks button, you have access to ristretto, espresso macchiato, and the flat white. In the menu, you can program each for strength, coffee amount, temperature, taste and milk amount if applicable.
For easy programming of coffee and milk amounts, you can use the press and hold method for any beverage. Just press and hold a beverage button until memo appears in the display. Coffee in our milk is then dispensed. Once you have the amount desired, press the check button and that volume will be stored until reprogrammed. Also under the special drinks button is access to plain milk froth and hot water. The amount of each can be programmed like the other beverages from within the menu or by using the press and hold method. Also there is steam. The Babila has a steam wand for manually frothing milk in a pitcher. Using the steam wand with a little practice, you can produce a very fine milk froth capable of pouring latte art. The internal drip tray and used coffee box removed from the front of the machine. The used coffee box has a capacity of 11 brewing cycles. The display notifies you when it needs emptying. You'll also get messages there for other things too, like when the machine needs water and more beans, when it's time to descale, and when the water filter needs changing. Within the settings menu, you can pick the language, adjust display brightness, turn the button sound on and off, set a power saving echo mode, and a standby time that shuts the machine off in times ranging from 15 minutes to three hours. And you can set your water hardness there based on the results from testing with the included water hardness test strip. The front face of the Babila has a brushed metal finish with chrome accents. Spouts are adjustable from three to six inches and the dual spout can be pushed back or removed entirely to accommodate larger cups, including travel mugs. The water reservoir has a 1.5 liter capacity and can be filled at the machine or removed for filling at a sink. The bean hopper holds 300 grams of coffee, enough for roughly 30 cups, depending on dose. On top, a door opens to a bypass doser for pre-ground coffee. Most will use it for making the occasional decaf from pre-ground coffee. As mentioned earlier, the Babila is a fine choice for those looking for the convenience of a one-touch machine for easy milk-based espresso beverages. But where it performs better than many other machines is the ability to go from brewing those large regular coffees down to short ristretto shots. The wide grind size range, fine granularity of programming, and the flow control give you the tools needed to get excellent results at both ends of the brewing spectrum. In my opinion, it's one of the most versatile, full automatic coffee and espresso machines available. Again, if you'll be switching between espresso, larger regular coffees, and milk-based drinks, definitely a machine to look at. Now, use a link up here to get more information on the Gaja Babila, including current pricing. As always, use those comments if you have any questions and I'll be sure to get you the answers. That's the Gaja Babila. It's available now at Whole Latte Love. I'm Mark, thanks for watching, and I hope to have you back soon for more of the good stuff on everything coffee, brought to you by Whole Latte Love. Want to learn more? Subscribe now so you'll know about the latest videos on everything coffee from Whole Latte Love.